Hello, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV here to bring you another exciting tutorial and this one is by request from one of my other tutorials. Uh, this one right here is about how to uh, resize the text and uh, not only are we going to resize it, we're also going to colorize it and do a few more other things to it. So uh, uh, let's make sure that we have a new composition. You go to composition, new composition and then it'll give you a new composition window. So what we want to do is we want to go up here and click on the text tool. Okay, once we click on the text tool, we go over here, click inside of our window, and let's just type out text. And, uh, so uh, here we've got our text, which is large. Highlight your text. And then go over here to where you see the small t and the large t. This is to set your font size. And so if you want to bring your font size smaller, then you go lower in numbers. If you want it to be a larger text, like so, then you would want it to have a larger number set. And uh, of course, to move the text around, you click in an area um, outside the red here. You see, it, as you're sitting inside the red editing area, your cursor goes to a line. You go outside and you've got your move arrow or your move tool. And so what you do is that you click and then you can move it around the box wherever you want it at. And uh, let's say that you want to colorize your text. Um, as it's highlighted, you go over here and you can give your text any color that you want your text to be. And uh, since we are, and it also needs to watch out for your background, so we got a black background, so we don't want to have black text. We get black text and then we cannot see our, our text. So that's, um, my favorite color is blue, so I'm going to give mine a blue text. And, um, Let's see here, if you want to change the text font type, then you click on the set the font family drop down box. And whenever it drops down, you go through here and you choose um, what you would like for your text to be. And let's go up here to, uh, if you're a fan of the band Slayer, you can choose their font. And let's go ahead and and there you go. That's uh, well, no, that didn't work right. So let's highlight it. And then let's go up. And let's choose Slayer. And there you go. You you got your Slayer font. If you are a uh, Slipknot fan, like my son is, then you highlight your text here. Click on the drop down. And go down to Sickness, which is the Slipknot logo font. And for the KISS fans out there, which is what me and my son both are. Son's also named after one of the KISS members, Eric Carr. So we go up here to our dynasty or dynasty, which is die nasty. And that gives us our KISS font. And you uh you can find all these fonts on different font size uh, sites. Um, I will try to add some of them in the description. But that's basically um, some of the um, um, options that you have if you want to uh, give it an italic uh, font, which will set your font sort of sideways a little bit. That's these options here. You can bold it. Um, you can set it to all caps, which it already is, small caps, uh, superscript, or subscript. Um, 
just anything. Just go through here and play with these different options and and uh, mess around with them and see what you can find. And uh, once again, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and After Effects on how to do your font. And uh, once again, subscribe and uh, y'all have a very good, hopefully not too hot week. Thank you.